Hello, this is Paula from Tri-State Sewing Rack. Before I sit down at the machine, I want to show you what I'm doing. I have the J Creative Bobbin Case in the machine because I wanted to loosen the tension. I'm using a color of metrosine in the bobbin with the, actually this blue. And then on top, I'm using YLI Clear Thread. And I am doing stitch number 52 on a Foff Expression 4.0 and I'm doing this hand quilt stitch so you can watch and then I'm going to use the cutter at the end there <coughs> I'll do a few more of these so you can see a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to turn this way with it because I have one right here I'm going to do. I actually have the, it's called a, okay, I'll show you the picture. It's this foot right here. It's the narrow edge foot. We actually use it for stitch in the ditch and that's what I'm using right now. I'm running it down the center, the ditch here, but I've moved my needle over all the way over to the right and you can do that with this foot to get beside, so I'm doing like a quarter inch beside the ditch. I'm Paula from Tri-State Sewing Back. I can't remember if I said that. Anyway, <clears throat> at the end here I'm using the cutter to cut that off. I think I'll do one more place for you to see. I I'm making a cross. This is supposed to look like um, Stained glass is what I was going to say. This this is actually the picture of it, but that's kind of close up at the camera there. <clears throat> anyway, I found a, a free pattern online, and I decided this would be fun to do for a project. So I'm just quilting it now. And I'm going to go to stitch the ditch here, but a quarter inch from the edge like I did earlier. And now there's something else I can show you in the corner here. That when I get up about a quarter inch from the edge. Okay. Now I'm going to turn it. I think maybe a little premature. Let me do. Okay. This will be it now. So it'll come forward one time. And then I have the needle button on so it'll stop down in the fabric. So I can pivot and turn because it lifts a little bit then. Now before I start to sew again, I'm going to push the pattern restart so it won't take a stitch back. That's a cool button to use. I use that quite frequently in some of these different stitches. Okay, so we get up to the corner here again and I want to make sure it's gone back. Okay. <clears throat> So once I take my foot off, it lifts the foot up and so I can pivot and turn in the fabric here. Hopefully that's close enough so you can see it. Okay, I got two more sides to do. I hope this inspires you to come in and get the foot, come in and get one of these machines, the thread. We have a lot of new product that just came in and a lot more coming. We have some close-up models that need to go. Again, when you get to the corner, you pivot and turn, and then I push the pattern restart so it doesn't go back. Not all machines have that feature. This is really a nice machine. It's the Foth Quilt Expression 4.0. And I forgot to mention, I've also got the IDT, the dual feed engage in the back here. So it's precise feeding. Nothing sews like a fop. Okay, and then what I did <clears throat> when I was done with the box is I went back in here on the yellow side and I'm doing like a, a max in the middle of the box. I thought that looked pretty good, so that's why I'm doing it. But I do see there's a few threads to trim along out of here.
And one more time here. I'm just going to go and do it over here now. You want to keep that thread in the crack of the foot there, in the back. I hope I've inspired you to try something. These machines are awesome, and with the purchase, we give you a lifetime of free instruction or tips or hints that will help you along the way. So, this is Paula from Tri State Sewing Back. I thank you so much for watching me. See you soon. Bye.